We're headed to uh, a place that sells a lot of uh, carpentry tools right now, and the place is called Kuroshige, and it's famous. Um, I wouldn't say it's famous, but it's uh, they have an online store, which they also sell stuff internationally, which is good for people that are watching this show. Um, if you're interested in it, uh, you can buy a lot of the tools online, and they'll ship it to you anywhere in the world. So stay tuned. We're at the uh, Kuroshige uh, shop. This is Mr. Kuroshige right here. Nani? Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. So he's gonna take us around and we're gonna walk around his shop and we're gonna see some of the different things that he has available. But this shop is massive, it's extensive, tons of carpentry tools, and they sell online and they also sell internationally. So many nomis. And this is just the front of the store. So as we go further into the warehouse, you're gonna see all kinds of different selection. So right now we're in the third floor of the Kuroshige facility. This thing is huge, this place. But you can see here, they got a lot of nomis right here, but this is not the extent of it. There's a lot more than this. And um, you can see all the kanas down here. You can see a lot of the natural stones. I mean, he sells everything here. If you need a shop cart, you can buy a shop cart here. You can buy Maronoko saw blades, circular saw blades. Um, you can buy kitchen knives. I think I saw kitchen knives down here. You can buy the sumitsubos, which is the inking pots for um, doing all your uh, lines and your drawings and stuff. I mean, some of this stuff is so rare. You can see here, you have these very long sukinomis. I mean, this thing is... I'm going to try to pull the box out just to display it, but it's quite heavy. But you can see how big these sukinomis are. And this one's got a dragon on it. There's a tsuru, there's a, uh, there's a turtle. Well, this is something that you'll never find again. It's like a special order item. I mean, have you ever seen something like this? It looks like bamboo. I can see this, some furniture maker Loving this, you know. Here's a Nayanomi. You have that pattern in steel. Looks like wood, wood grain. This is a beautiful one. This is more for dovetailing because it's got that chamfer on it. Kuni Kunike, third generation, old stock. Look at that price though. One thousand four hundred dollars. So this is something. It's pretty rare. Here's some more natural stones. I mean, there's natural stones everywhere. A Canadian company bought a stone, a natural stone, $2,000. And um, I guess they're gonna use it for sharpening kitchen knives. But you can even buy gunnel handles, hammer handles. Um, all different shapes and sizes. You can even have the uh, noko handles, right? And uh, the president of this company, he taught me last time I was here how to wrap a handle. It's kind of a rare thing because uh, carpenters used to do it themselves back in the day. Now they don't, but um, he still wraps, hand wraps each one of the handles. I mean, like I was saying, you have kanas everywhere. This is the geno I have, this size. This weight I think is 500 or 375 they call it, which is a unit of measure in Japan. I forget what the unit is called, but it's 375. But this is the one I use for uh, kizami or for carving wood. It's got good weight, good good balance to it. I like it. Like some of these handle, these hammers are beautiful. And here's this one, this kind of dimpled pattern. I've seen a lot of people have this one. I always like the look of this one. Kind of looks like a barrel. And the hammer heads, they always have a rounded side and then they have a flat side. This is kind of like the business end, the everyday end. And this would be uh, for putting slight dimples on the joints to help assist in getting the uh, uh, joinery together. But this side is called Kigoroshi, which means to kill the wood, actually. I don't know where this one is from, but this one, uh, the joint right here, they file it down and they really blended it in. It doesn't even look like there's a ferrule here. Entire box sets of chisels. You can buy these, right? 
This is like a Hantataki Nomi size, kind of a little bit smaller. It's really interesting. So he's got sashiganes everywhere. You gotta actually look up every now and again. So I'm looking up now and I see nothing but sashiganes above my head. And some of these sashiganes are so rare. Like this one is from Umede, Omeda, Umeda Sanjo. And this is a black one. And it's glow in the dark, which is quite interesting. So this set of nomis is by Ichihiro, which is a famous blacksmith, and he's passed away. This set of nomis is 35 years old or so, but um, you can see this is a rosewood handle. Um, the quality of the craftsmanship is impeccable. This is, uh, this is made from shirogami, but it's probably like an algami in terms of its uh, resilience to chipping and things like this. The backs are very, very flat. So it takes very little work to get them to flat. So this set is probably selling for $10,000. Uh, somebody from the United States has already bought uh, another set just like this. This is a high skill set to make this Geno. Uh, for, for instance, it's very well balanced. These are the Anayanomis. These are very, very useful for doing the uh, mortises or Anahori which is um, the holes for where you put the nuki, which is the horizontal beams in a house, in a Japanese house. These can really get inside those, uh, those spots. Um, they're quite long. And what's nice about the Anaya Nomi, unlike a slick Nomi, you can actually hammer the back, which is very useful if you have like a knot or some kind of stubborn piece of wood that you have to work through. Um, so this is a very useful chisel. And there's quite a few of them here. This one is, um, this has got a beautiful handle. That's the normal. What about this side? Is it this certain size? Just oh, so you just match this part. Oh, okay. うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。う
Okay. 